meteorologist Margaret Orr joins us from the Weather Center to talk about what's ahead, and I'll bet you it's going to look a lot like what's behind. And, what and we've I seen bet you it's going to include heat. Well, it, it does include heat, but you know what else is heating up? The tropics. Mm. In the eastern Pacific, we now have tropical depression 4E, and you know what? Hawaii could have a visitor, or at least somebody moving very close to Hawaii, coming up. More on that in just a moment. But first, let's look at what's happening. We've got high pressure in the Gulf, that onshore flow. Of course, that frontal boundary that's not moving much to the north, that's where we have all of the flash flood watches and the flooding that's been taking place. We can look in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's pretty close. Clear. We've got an upper level low right in here, and that's helped cause a little bit of rain. You have to zoom in to see it right here across Terrebonne Parish. We've had a few showers, even a thunderstorm at times, moving to the northwest. I don't see it as a big issue overnight. We did have a couple of strong storms today over towards Baton Rouge, Gonzales, even a pretty good thunderstorm into the central portion of Tangipaho Parish. But as we look at the forecast for tomorrow, once more, I don't see a big chance at Rain, just an isolated shower or storm. But keep in mind, if you get a storm in your area, brief locally heavy downpour and a lot of lightning. Meanwhile, we can look at that forecast and for tomorrow, hot day, maybe even hotter than today. Certainly, high temperatures low to even the mid 90s. Then, as we go into your Thursday, slightly better rain chance. I'm going with highs mostly in the low 90s. But for Friday, I may actually have to raise the uh, chance of rain a little bit. At this point, I'm going with a 30% chance and highs in the low 90s. Here we are. We're looking at the tropics. Looks great in the Gulf of Mexico, but let's go on over into the eastern Pacific. Here is a look at tropical depression 4E, and it's looking pretty good. Max winds 35 miles per hour. It's moving to the west-northwest at 17 miles per hour, and it's going to be moving over warm water. There's high pressure aloft, so it looks pretty good, as though it could potentially develop, and that's what the hurricane. Center is saying max winds getting up to 50 miles per hour, and it's going to get pretty close to Hawaii by then. The water temperatures will cool, and it should be a depression. But should it become a storm, its name will be Dolores. Mike Laviolette's and in this gorgeous twit pic of how it looked today at City Park. You know, we started off this morning a little bit warmer in the morning, so it didn't take much to warm up. High temperature today was 92, the average 91. And high temperatures today in the low to the mid 90s. Right now it's 83 degrees, and we do have a bit of a breeze, so temperatures haven't cooled off a lot. We're still in the low to the mid 80s, and that heat index still in the 90s over at the lakefront with that south wind. So morning low temperatures mid to the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. We can look at that forecast three tomorrow afternoon, 93 degrees. Rain chances may be a little bit higher for Friday, but for Saturday and Sunday, it is looking hotter than today. High temperatures, mid-90s. So get ready for that heat.